My intellect is without limit. Welcome to another day in the arena. It's me, the SPMTG. <laughs> Stacks back, school phase MTG. Man, I swear if I could ever do that without laughing, I will need some kind of reward. I would need somebody to give me some kind of reward for laughing. I don't know how Convertco Blue doesn't laugh every time he says that. He says that in every video. But that's his thing. Not hating. Just find it very funny. But welcome back. I'm going to display a historic deck today. Um, I've been getting some recent questions from people um, asking me why don't I play uh, top of the line cards like Ugin or um, I typically stay away from from big cards that are all over the environment like you know, everybody's running goblins. They're, they're running muxes. You know, I, I started the goblin thing, but um, I haven't been playing goblins since then. Um, everybody's playing goblins. Everybody's playing muxes. Everybody's playing Ugin Ramp. And um, so I had quite a few people recently ask me, you know, when are you going to display a, your version of some type of a Ugin deck? You know, we already seen your your take on, on goblins, which now everybody's basically running that same goblin deck. Um, that I that I originally posted in my original video um, with a few minor tweaks here and there, but hey, it's goblin, so I mean, options are limited. You got what you got, but um, I've never really shown a Ugin a Ugin deck, and all my videos I've never shown a Ugin deck. So this is going to be a Ugin deck. Um, this is not Teamer ramp in the Ugin. This is not Simic ramp in the Ugin. This is stacks blue. Uh, excuse me, stacks black and white. Ugin. <laughs> so let's let's get into the tech. Um, I'm running a lot of th this deck. I had I had originally thought of this deck a, a while ago, um, and I had been toyed around with it. But it, it's just now starting to feel viable because of some of the options that that uh, Amaket has brought. So, like for instance, four thought seeds. I have been kind of against the fence when it comes to, to thought seeds um, coming into historic. Because I feel like it's going to push a lot of people away from the game. A lot of people are going to get really agitated with having this stuff turn one thought seized. Um, it's going to start feeling a lot more like modern, um, you know, modernish pioneer type gameplay when you, you you get your best card taken out of your hand turn one. But I feel like historic has gone to it's gotten to a place now to where cards like thought seeds are, is is definitely needed. Um, how else? A lot of decks won't have options to be able to shut stuff down like Muxus or Ugin or something that they can ramp into, you know, a 8, 9, 10 mana cost spell by turn 4 or 5 if we don't have things like Thought Seeds. So it's a necessary evil. You love it when you have it, but you hate when Thought Seeds gets used against you. But enough of that. Enough of that. Let's get back into the deck tech. So, yeah, 4 Thought Seeds, uh, 4 uh, Mind Stone, 3 Chromatic Lantern. Three Settled the Wreckage, two Wrath of God, four Masterminds Acquisition, two Hendron Archive, three Solemn Simulacrum, three Golos Tireless Pilgrim, Pilgrim, uh, two Ugin the Ineffable, Baby Ugin as I like to call him, uh, two Ugin the Spirit Dragon, two Ugamog Ceaseless Hunger, and then I'm running uh, seven Plains, one Pyrexian Tower, six Swamps, uh, four Godless Shrine, four Isolated Chapel, four Ark of or or Ara Araska, uh and two Karns Bastion, uh two arcs, excuse me. I think I said four. I'm running two. Uh, so yeah. The big the, the way I the the, re the way I see it with this deck is I don't typically like ramp into Ugin strategies because you spend your first three to five turns ramping and a lot of times with those ramp strategies you don't if you don't have anything to immediately play once you get done ramping, you're just sitting there with a bunch of mana with nothing to do with it. Um, this is definitely a different kind of take on ramping because this is a ramp deck, but it's not green. <laughs> so you want, you're want you going to be ramping with your Mind Stones and your Chromatic Lanterns and your Hendron Archives, your Solemns, your Golos. This is a ramp deck, but it this deck provides us a, a, a lot of options to have things to do with our mana. So if you got if you got a Golos out, you can use your Golos activations um, with all that mana. And you can hopefully, you know, draw flip into things that you can cast. Um, maximize acquisition. 
it's only four mana so a lot of times you'll have enough mana to go ahead and fetch up something and be able to cast it with maximize acquisition um so that's just a, a few ways a couple of ways that we have in the deck to get maximum utilization out of our mana um this is a wish board build so in the sideboard i'm running a one gra uh, gap grafted excuse me one graft digger's cage one Dovin's Veto, one Meddling Mage, uh, one Volcanic Fallout, one Unmoored Ego, one Maelstrom Pulse, one Chromatic Lantern, just in case we don't draw it um, in our main deck um, and we, we need access to it, we can go ahead and uh, get grab it from our sideboard. Uh, one Scarab God, one Chandra Awakened Inferno, uh, one Ruinous Ultimatum, one Platinum Angel, one Ugin, uh, one Ulamog, one Heliod's Intervention, and one Torment of Hailfire. Torment of Hailfire is going to be the typical um, thing you wish from the sideboard. I did not want this card in the main board. Um, it feels really bad drawing this at any point in the game other than when you absolutely are ready to cast it. So it is a perfect card to have in the sideboard to be able to wish for and go ahead and kill your opponent, which you will see me do in multiple games in this in the gameplay um this card is excellent because you got tons of ramp so once you're done ramping go ahead and fetch this up and this is pretty much a game ender for your opponent um heliot's intervention bails out it'll bail you out a lot of times against heavy aggro um buy you just enough time to be able to get your ugin out or get your ulamog out and stabilize um, and it serves the dual purpose of being able to blow up artifacts and enchantments should you encounter any, any of those problems. Um, we got the extra Ugin, the extra Ulamog, because running three ofs in the deck feels bad. <laughs> so I figured throwing one extra of each in the sideboard should, should it, it, it serves just right. You know, running two copies main deck feels good, and having one extra copy of each in the sideboard feels, feels great. Uh, Platinum Angel fun as always, and then the rest of the stuff is just uh, removal. Uh, Scarab God is an extra win con. You'll see. Um, I think I, I think I got one game uh, in the in the gameplay footage where I was using abusing and abusing and using Scarab God. So you you'll see Scarab God in the gameplay putting some work from the sideboard. Uh, Meddling Mage and Unmore Ego is here to uh, basically shut down any kind of like combo strategies or problematic strategies that were that, that are centered around one card you have a few of those out there uh, and then uh volcanic fallout just another way to help us emergency get get rid of some of those lower to ground aggro strategies of uh, like muxes i mean uh, uh goblin builds or elves or something like that um just an extra way to be able to deal with uh those types of things I didn't want to put another Settle the Wreckage in. I'm running three Settle the Wreckage main board. I didn't want to put an extra one in the sideboard because I feel like sometimes your opponents will get wise and they will know that you're sitting on a Settle and they won't attack. So a lot of times if you can just go ahead and tutor up a Volcanic Fallout, this will do enough damage even though a lot of times stuff will be getting pumps from other things. It'll kill the pumpers. So then the two damage is marked on the other things and when the pumpers die, then everything else dies with it. So um this this is effective a lot more times than it isn't so it's a good good pickup to have in the sideboard and um you'll see me put the treasure hunt deck to shame with metal and mage so for anybody that's questioning metal and mage being in the sideboard um just watch until you see the me go against the treasure hunt deck and then you'll understand why metal and mage is here but there's enough of that enough talking about it let's get into the game plan. got plenty of ramp here so Hopefully I can draw into something worth ramping into. I'm rocking. Pretty sure I've played this person before. Man, I love these having these these uh Amonkhet arenas back. The music is so soothing. Hopefully it keeps people's salt levels down. <laughs> salt elimination music oh shrines all right i don't i don't think i've ever lost to shrines i like shrines as a concept but it's really slow all right um uh, i could mastermind acquisition here 
to go find Unmore Ego and take out all of his Sanctum of Alls. Uh, uh, let me let me just go ahead and ramp. Ugin take care of, he's gonna take care of all of his shrines. Not that worried about him. Hunting of infinite fire. I like fire. Fire is essential to my life. <laughs> As it is all of us. Get this uh, down tap. Play my solemn. Fetch me a land. Swamp. I need to switch out my lands for my fancy lands. I don't know why I'm running these ugly basics. Wanna hit me? Oh, hit my solemn. I'd like you to. Man, I saw him looking at it. <laughs> All right, what's the what's the next shrine on the on the block? Oh, the Big Daddy Shrine. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and minus five. My only concern here is if he plays another Sanctum of All. That would be bad. You know they always have a another copy of everything. Man. The thought seized. Oh man. Oh. Alright. Well, little who can take care of that. We Alright. Let's go ahead and thought seize. Make sure you don't have another one. Alright, get that out of there. Hit you for three. <laughs> yeah. I like shrines though. Alright. It's a pretty solid hand. Not doing much until turn four. But, oh, oh. Two ley line of abundance. Oh, man. I might be in trouble. Oh, I think this is just elves. If it's just elves, that's fine. Ley line of abundance isn't as bad in elves. I mean, it's elves already produces a lot of mana anyway. So it's just kind of like win more that point to get my Latin down if it was Canaan play line of abundance I'd be a lot more worried <laughs> I suspect they're gonna be playing out their hand here no nope. all right well I'll go ahead and play my Golos here oh collected company and elves Oh man, I could be in trouble here. If they hoof me right now, there's nothing I can do. Uh, playing the Golos would have been bad. Then I, I don't have mana for for a uh, set of the wreckage. Okay, no, no, no crater hoof. I'm still in the green here. Still in the green. In the green with the elves. All that elf power. <laughs> I'll swing. All right. Uh, could just take it, but I think I block to make it look like I'm desperate here. So then maybe they get overzealous on their next turn and swing out with everything, and then I can settle their whole board, and then I can uptick on Ugin when I play Ugin. That's the dream scenario. Uh, all right. Uh, well, I have to leave mana up for settle here, so uh, I just pass here. Swing all out! I dare you. Uh, this person is wise. They're wise to settle. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and get your basics. Well, oh, they're gonna power up the elves. Well, oh, I think I need to power up too. This is a power up moment for me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm powering up too. This Ugin, 
This Ugin power is coming. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, no matter which land. Wait. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I'm overthinking it. Ah! <laughs> Definitely a keep. Thought sees. Turn one. So good. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm probably just most worried about the extinction event. Get that out of there. Alright. This is a... What is this? Like a... Just a mono black good stuff. Brew. Oh well. Mono black splashing blue. <laughs> blue black good stuff. Put it that way. Alright. Have your night. Alright. Let me go ahead and play my archive. Play my mind stone. This ramp is so good. Alright, I'm glad you wasted your mana on that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and blow him up. You don't have any mana open to flash in your night. I'm happy. I'm happy with you. Happy cultist. We're happy together. Resolves. See how happy I am? I'm letting I'm letting your stuff resolve. I'm all about letting things resolve. Counter spells are boring. He resolves too. <laughs> to resolve free for all. Give me a token. Let's go ahead and find something here. Um, uh, I could, could grab Ugin, could grab, grab Torment of Hellfire, that's what I'm eyeballing right now, uh, doesn't go for as much as I would want it to go for right now though, but, won't take long to get there, could get Scarab God though, uh, Scarab God cause he's got a lot of creatures. Oh, I don't want Scarab God. Let me just grab the Hellfire. Grab the Hellfire. And, uh, let just pass the turn. Hopefully I can... It's fine. I got three. There was all. Draw some cards. Alright, I'm gonna attack. Alright, I block. I need that land. I got three, four, five, six. Alright. So Hellfire will go for seven right now. Plus the land I get from this guy. It's eight. Alright. Got Hellfire for eight. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and settle. If he's got a counter spell, I'd rather him counter this. If he counters it, I can block. Oh, no counter. I'd rather him counter to settle than counter my, counter my Hailfire. Resolves. Are you still happy? You're at 21, you should be happy. I'm happy for you. Are you gonna scry? Oh, okay, so. Alright, cool. Make a token. Uh, swing in here. Now I'm gonna hail fire for nine. And this basically kills him. He he has, a, he has to discard his whole hand or he dies. 
<laughs> Hellfire, so good. Waiting on the, waiting on the separatist. Yeah, oops. See if you're gonna still be saying hello when I thought sees you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Conclave Tribunal, I think, has to go here. Get that out of here. Separaturst. Linden. Linden, my mistress. <laughs> So this is obviously mono white life gain. <laughs> Hope they're gonna they're gonna get overzealous here and swing all out, as one does <laughs> with these mono white life gain decks. Never mind the fact that I just have open mana sitting here. Yes, your pride mate resolves. Yes, your vitalized resolves. <laughs> Resolve. Resolve all. <laughs> oh. Look at you go. <laughs> yeah, let's let's exile all those guys. <laughs> That's one sure way to get rid of get rid of Heliod. Alright, I still got this pride mate to worry about here. Let's go ahead and uh play this tap. Play my But yeah, play my solemn. I'm gonna have to acquisition next turn if I don't draw into something board changing. Definitely, I need a Ugin here. In trouble. Ugin, I'm in trouble. Come bail me out. Draw Ugin, please. It's not a Ugin. You're not a Ugin either. Either. All right. Um. Uh, well. Acquisition has to get me out of this, so what can I find? What do I have in my sideboard right now that I have enough mana for? I only got I only have four mana, so I think I'm gonna have to I think I got one Wrath of God main deck right now. Uh do I? Do I do I? Yes. Wrath of God. Alright. Get these guys out of here. <laughs> I'm separating them from you. Separist. <laughs> Your creatures. Your creatures have to be separated from you. Oh man, all these acquisitions. Uh let me go in. Since he since he's so creature happy, you get scarab guy. This will be a fun time to use Scarab God. Or stealing his creatures. Gaining life back. For those of you who don't know the power of Scarab God, get ready to behold <laughs> all of his greatness. Unless he gets exiled some kind of way. Conclave Tribunal or something. No. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and steal some stuff. Steal your Daxos. I like him back as a 4-4. Steal something else too. Uh, I like a Speaker of the Heavens. I like him. Let's go ahead and swing. Wanna block? Yes, no. That's what he's there for. Block, right? <laughs> Watch him pull like a 
Planar cleansing or something. That'll kill my chromatic lantern. That'd be bad. What? I had a promise. On my my zombie back to? Alright. I don't I don't think this person understands that card. <laughs> Alright, we'll steal a primate. Oh. <laughs> Master Merlin, the magician, got magic for you stacks, the magician, Merlin, you're not ready for this, <laughs> oh man, I'm not ready, no, I'm gonna take my Ulamog, sucks, probably wouldn't have taken the Ulamog though. I would have took the, the mana. The manas. Umar can't do anything if I don't have 10 mana. He doesn't know that though. Should know it. He's Master Merlin. Alright. Guess I'm on the Ugin plan now. Oh man. Guess I'm not. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I have greater battles to All right, well, I guess I'm on the Golos plan. Now, of course, I will take action. What you gotta say about Golos, son? Master Merlin? You got a murder rider? Some kind of removal effect? Oh man! Got all the you get all four copies of Agonizing Remorse. All right, let me activate goals. Oh man, that's bad. That's all bad. All right. Oh, I should have attacked. Ah! Uh, always looking at my goals. Must mean he's gonna kill it. Yeah. Alright. Well, let me go ahead and get this down. Play my last Golos here. Getting my deck out these lands. Man, he's. Oh, man. Top deck mode now. Of course, I would get a land. Yes, I'll pay for it. Because I can. Master Merlin. Any more exile effects? Or just, just Euro. Man, so many decks operate on the the back of Euro. Let me draw two two cards here. All right, got a Ugin. Uh, oh, I can draw a card off of this. Oh, two Ubins. Alright. Let's get this party started. See if he's got spot removal. I'd rather him use it on this one. Play plus. Alright. No no response. No, no priority held. I can play this one. Three to your face! Exiling all my stuff. <laughs> really, Ugin? You're so methodical when you speak, Ugin. Did you rehearse those lines? Oh, Master Merlin. Getting his Euro. Can't save you. <laughs> Uro can't save you. Why are you looking at my spirit token? <laughs> it's fine. Man, all these lands. Go ahead and kill your Uro. 
and uh, bolt your face. Take my mind stone. All right. I guess I'm gonna. He's a polish. <laughs> guess I'm gonna ultimate Ugin here. See what I get. This guy's trying to find some more exile. Um, uh, go ahead, proliferate. And uh, draw a card. Another land. Oh my gosh. All right, ultimate Ugin. Why don't you give me all lands? <laughs> all right, uh, you, you. Wait, I could cast you. Uh, I'll let it come into play. Got acquisition here, so. All right. Submit six. Yes, that's your plan. All right. Token. I'm gonna acquisition here. I think I just go for torment. Yeah, I just go for torment. Let's go for the win here. Where's my torment? There it is. What is it here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. Counter? Oh, oh, taking the damage. Damages. <laughs> Master Merlin. It hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, man. Discard your cards. Do something. It's over. <laughs> Nothing you can do to get out of it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> rank up. <laughs> well, either I'm gonna ramp into something really good, or I'm gonna do a whole lot of nothing. So we'll find out here. Against Hayate Cannon. On the plate. Bringing them cannons. Got them cannons, man. I like cannons. They require fire. Fire is good. Oh no, this is like elves. Let's find out. Oh no, not elves. Ugin ramp. Well, uh, I think it's a no-brainer we take the Ugin here. Have to hope he doesn't draw into something relevant with the growth spiral. Oh, sending that that cannon elf at me. My mind stone. Mind stone looks like a cannonball, chopped in half. Lanamore elf chopped it in half with its blades. Lanamore elf art looks a lot more deadly than. Lana Warrior Elf himself. <laughs> Wanna smack me for one? Yes, no. Maybe so. Okay. <laughs> Alright. My archive. And uh it just about gives me Ugin here. This is precisely why I don't too much care for the... Oh, Star X. Oh. Well, he only got a land. That's good for me. But this is why I don't care for the multicolor ramp into Ugin package. A lot of times you just ramp and you don't have anything to play. I don't, I don't care for that scenario too much. Oh, growth spiral. So another land. Going to attack with your Star X. 
Send him in the exile. <laughs> Goalless. Oh man. But we can don't don't get rid of him. Hmm. Well, if he attacks with the Starrix, I'm gonna exile it. Gotta get it out of here. Yep, he's sending it to his doom, huh? He's got all colors up here, right? Yeah, he's got all colors. So he'll be able to get Goldos activations. I have to hope he doesn't hit anything relevant off of them. I have to hope he swings with that Goldos. Get it out of here. Alright. Play my Wugan. Free to your dome. Yeah, he's saying nice because he got Golos activation. I think that's a cheeky nice. My greatest creation. Alright. Two lands and a beanstalk giant. Nothing devastating. Man of Oil. Cannon. Where's your cannons, man? Not seeing any cannons yet. I haven't seen any cannonballs. What are you thinking about? Well, he's probably wondering, can he play his adventure and then play the, the, the giant for free after the adventure for free? Which the answer is no. So you have to make a decision. Do you want to play the adventure free or do you want to play the giant himself for free? Choices. We all have to make them and live with them. Alright, he's opting to play the adventure. I think I would have just went on and casted the giant in that situation. Alright, who's in second three? Oh, I forgot. Alright. Yeah, let me go ahead and wrath. Get goals out of here. Three to your dome. Take my mind stone. Out you go. Glad I got goals out of there. I don't want to get caught by any lucky goals activation. Migratory Great Horn. What's that doing here? Looks like he has fleas. Like birds plucking on him. Let me draw a card here. Alright, didn't need a thought seize. He has no hand. Alright, uh. Let me play my lantern. Uh, three to your dome, and just hold up my settle the wreckage. Don't don't send your creatures in the doom, man. Don't don't do it to them. All right. Still not seeing any cannons. See a bunch of trees. No cannon yet. Don't send your migratory great horn at me. He has fleas. I don't want his fleas. Send him to exile. <laughs> Alright. Let's go through to your dome again. Eat all that ghost fire. Get my solemn. Solemn doesn't like fleas either. Why well, sad robot? He had fleas and didn't like them. All right. Uh, let me let me ultimate on Ugin here. All right. Uh, you you you. All these lands. And sure, I'll take another Ugin. Fresh reset. Fetch my lands. Fetching up all the lands here. Stop sees you and see what you got. Oh, negate. Well, I'm glad that's gone. 
Go through your dome. Swing in. It's been a nice controlling matchup. Keeping the opposing Ugin deck in check. No cannons today. <laughs> Keeper. Rantas. Oh man, he's mulliganing a lot. Oh, he was mulliganing fast. Oh, wait a minute. Is this, uh... It's gonna be a treasure hunt deck. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, man. Alright, we get this down. I should concede. But I got options. Yeah, treasure hunt. Oh, man, these people with these stupid treasure hunt decks. All right, let, me, let me acquisition here. I got options, but I'm going to have to fix my mana. So, I could get Melon Mage, and I could get Unmore Ego. But, Melon Mage comes online faster, so we'll go with her. Alright, I got to hopefully draw into something. Another acquisition or a Chromatic Lantern. Fix my mana. They drew into their Thassa's Oracle. And the Mystic Sanctuary, so that lets them get their treasure hunt. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Let me let me go ahead and fetch up my Chromatic Lantern. Chromatic Lantern. Where is it at? Right there. All right. So he's got to win this turn. Which I don't think he can, because he didn't have treasure hunt. Sucks for you, opponent. <laughs> Should play a real deck. Stop this foolishness. Take this. Chromatic Lantern. No free wins for you! That's his Oracle. Alright. Get out of here. <laughs> No free win. <laughs> All right. Elbow. That's a name. Elbow server. Elbow sewer. Oh. On goblins. All right. Well. Luckily, I got a settle in my hand. Can bail me out. At least once. Alright, Thought Seize. That's great. Um, I'm going to play my Lantern. And I'll Thought Seize. Yeah, of course, he would have a Muxus in hand. Get that out of here. Don't want to run into any Muxuses today. Or Chief. Alright. Packing on the damage here. Go ahead and play that tapped. Hold up this settle. Goblins can't help themselves. They have to swing all out. Yep. Oh, I should have waited to see if he was going to activate his land and use his mana. Oh well. Oh well. Goblin Hauler. Alright, uh... I guess... I'll we'll play Golos. So I can defend myself. From the hauler. Already at 10 life, so. I'm in kill range for goblins. I don't plan on losing to your goblins today, Mr. Elbow. I started this goblin shenanigan, this goblin fiasco. Alright, uh. Activate Golos, see what I get. 
More manners. More manners is good. Since I have Ulamog in acquisition in my hand. Uh, let me go ahead and acquisition for... Uh, uh, I don't know. Let me see. Wait. Wait. What's this? What's this? Oh. I only got three mana. It's showing it's playable because... Because I can sack Golos. Okay. Well, I'm not going to sack my Golos. Definitely not doing that. Another hauler. Two damage to any target. Alright. Uh Well let's block your hauler. Two damage to me. Alright. Surprised he didn't give it the pump. Saying oops. <laughs> uh yeah, you know what would be a oops? If he top deck a, another Muxus, so I think I want to get rid of the Muxus. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and dig the Muxus out of his deck. But uh, ego, I don't want him top decking any Muxuses for the win. All right, let's see that Muxus. All right. Get those out of here. No, you can't get the one from the grave back, but get him out of here. Oops. <laughs> Oops to you. Want swing? Of course. Well, same drill. Uh, yeah, he might he might wise up and use his land this time. Uh oh, it's going for it. Is he going? I think he. Okay, I'll take three. Oh, he's gonna kill my golos. All right. Well, that's a solid play actually, because now he can ride out. Try he can try to ride out the win. Saying oops again. Yeah, oops to you. Get rid of your land. Oops. <laughs> it's a back and forth oops battle. Uh oh. Well. I don't have to worry about any monsters. It's a good day. No monsters. What else could he get that would be worth it? Uh, uh goblin ringleader or uh Krinko? Yeah, yeah. Krinko would probably be the best bet. Chump blockers and yeah. Unfortunately, Krinko is going to meet his demise. Let me swing first. You can block if you'd like. Oh, look at all those goblins going into exile with Muxus. They miss Muxus. They want to be in exile with him. All right, let me cast this one. And, uh... Exile his Krinko and his uh, Matron. Don't want him having any attackers. I'm at full life. Well, he switched from saying oops to nice now, so. <laughs> I think I have this one under control now. <laughs> I am ancient! My name is Wogan! <laughs> There you have it. I hope you all enjoy. That's how I play Ugin. None of that Simic and Team and Ramp mess. That stuff is played out. Try new, innovative ways to play Ugin. 
it'll be lots of fun and catch people off guard. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment on this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, whatever you want to do, just interact with it. Reaction is good. Reaction is always good. And if you have not already, if you're on Facebook, you can go to the Scoop Phase MTG Facebook page and uh, give it a follow. I do live streams over there. So if you are not following me on Facebook at Scoop Phase MTG, you should definitely do that because you're missing out on all the wonderful streams unless I sometimes I multi-stream to, to YouTube all, as well. So um, my, my YouTube viewers that aren't on Facebook don't always miss out, but sometimes I stream only to Facebook. So to make sure you catch all of the streams, make sure you follow me on Facebook. Thanks you all for watching. As always, I appreciate all of you. See you all next time.